Hello. Today I'm going to show a little tip and trick uh, in Pro Panel about a variable length rail, particularly this part number here from Siemens. This is of the S7 1500 series, and this is the 830 millimeter length rail. Um, of course, this is on the data portal, and it comes in really nice, right? You get this nice 3D macro here which is perfect and everything but a question came up about being able to change the length of this like you would um, a wire duct or a DIN rail right I can go up here change length hit my wire duct and I can change the length I'll just undo that and if you try that on here right you're not able to because this is essentially just 3d macro the same way as any of these other components are but one cool uh, feature of ProPanel is a thing called a user-defined rail. And what that does is, if you go here to Master Data, Outline Extrusion, I'm just going to open something I made for this. What I did here is I drew a polyline that is essentially just the outline around the side of that rail. And it's, uh, it's a closed polyline, and I put a guide rail here. This essentially is your mounting line where your components will mount to. And that file is called an FC2 file. So, what is looking at that? If you go up here to Parts Management, I'll search for this part, and you'll see that this is the way it comes from the data portal. It goes in the PLC section, this particular part number. But what I did is I made a custom part in the user defined rail section, and this is key. For doing these extrusions, it has to be in this uh, this grouping here, user defined rail. So I just essentially copied all the data in here and just made it parentheses variable. And the key here is the graphical macro property needs to see that FC2 file. So generally, a graphical macro looks at an EMA file, a 3D macro. In this case, it's actually looking at an FC2 extrusion file that we just looked at. Another cool thing about this is there's a delivery link property. And if you set this, whatever you set this at, this is the maximum that you can draw this variable length part. So that is a, that's a cool property there. And I'll show that here in a second. So after I linked everything and created my part, I have this right here in my insert center. And I just want to show here that if you go all the way to the end, it won't go any further than 830 because we define that as our delivery length. But I can also draw it here. I can go up here to edit, change length. And I can again alter that. So that's a really cool feature about ProPanel. Um, I'll go ahead and show how easy it is to mount a CPU on here from our S7 1500 series. We'll just grab this one here and you'll see that blue line. That is our guide rail that we defined in the outline. And if we look at it from the side, it looks really good. So that is a cool way to use these extrusions in ProPanel. I hope you find this useful. Thank you.